Hello. For the following exercise, we got these uh, vectors here on um, a scalar, defined in, in this way. So now let's consider the following inner product. So let's suppose that we got this inner product defined is technically is a weighted Euclidean inner product. So by weight means that we are given more importance and more weight to some of the components of the vectors and uh, so that the the, the 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 usual multiplication change so in this case is defined as follows here is the the first component of the vectors plus five u two v two so you can notice the difference with the usual euclidean inner product which is defined just by the multiplication so in this case, it's called weight because we we assign some weights to each of the components, so some of them have more like influence on the on, on the result. So we have defined this, and we need to make some compute some uh, some quantities. So let's start. So first, let's start by computing this inner product of these two vectors. So u v. Well, it's defined as one half, and here we got the first components of the vector u and v is one times three plus five two times one. Okay, so at the end, this is just 23 divided two. Okay, so this is the result for the first part. Let's continue. Now we need to compute the inner product of the following quantity. Here we got k, v, and w. So here, k is just a scalar, so we can take it out from the inner product. So at the end, we obtain here k that multiplies the inner product of v with w. This inner product here is equal to minus 10, and k is 3, so the result is minus 30. For the next, we got here a summation. So we got u plus v w. So we can solve this in two ways. First, we can do this uh, summation here, or we can separate. So by separating, I mean doing this. So u w plus the inner product of v with w, just by using the actions of the inner product. So this result we already know is minus 10, and this we need to compute. Uh, this is just so the inner product of u with b is just minus 5. Okay, so at the end, this inner product here is minus 15. Okay, let's continue. Now we need to compute a v a norm, the norm of a vector. In this case, the norm of the vector v. By definition, the norm is given as the square root of the inner product of the vector with itself. So this is the, the definition of the norm in an inner product space. So, well, you see what we need to do. So here we got, got the square root of the inner product of v with v. Um, so this is one half of here is one half one half of three square plus five times two square and the square root of all this. So this uh, is equal to seven divided the square root of two. Let's continue. In the part E, we need to compute uh, the distance between two vectors. So the distance between u and v is defined as the norm of v minus u. Actually, it doesn't matter the order of how we are uh, subtracting the vectors because is inside of a norm, so we can this is actually the same as this. Okay, so we just need to compute this. Norm is defined as I mentioned before is the square root 
in this case of the inner product of v minus u v minus u okay and after replacing the values we obtain that this is equal to the square root of seven And finally, the last uh, quantity that we, we should compute is the norm of u minus kv. So we use the definition, here's the square root, here's the inner product of u minus kv, u minus kv. And this results into the square root of 157. 